Hey guys, so today's tip I want to work on the split step. Yes, the split step is everyone knows really important. Um, the split step is where you go ahead and you do a little bit of a hop right before they hit and your feet land as they hit so that way you're in good athletic position to then react to the ball. Um, I find this to be a little bit harder for adults than juniors, but nevertheless it's important for everyone to learn. Now it's also something that's not just for volleys, it's also for the baselines anytime your opponent's going to hit. Now, uh, I teach it a bunch of different ways, and I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of different ways of how to do the split step. I'm gonna try to give a couple alternative ways to think about it, so that way it maybe helps you uh, get better at it. Uh, the first one is to think of split step as a state of mind instead of uh, necessarily a footwork. And what I mean is a lot of times people will kind of do the jumping correctly, but they're leaning one way or falling one way or, or moving or the racket's going one way. And really, uh, a good split step is a state of mind. So what I'm saying is that right before your opponent hits the ball, it's being able to just react to what they've given you rather than trying to anticipate it and then leaning one way or the other. A couple drills that I like to do that can help with that is one, I'll do a drill where the players do not move at all. So the feet just stand completely still, you're not allowed to move, and then you go and you volley just like this without stepping. Now that seems weird, but what that does is, is it gets your body to learn how to be in control and allows the ball to bounce off the strings rather than be hit. If you do stuff like this in this drill, the ball won't go anywhere. So it teaches you learn to have good balance and be calm. And doing that also tends to calm the mind and calm everything. The second thing is, is when you're hitting the volley, that at the end of it, that you hold it for a second. And yes, you can do that even in a match. If I'm doing a real volley, I go, I hit it, hold it, and then I get ready for the next shot. So holding it there. You can word the, use the word discipline or posing for a picture, but just holding there. And then lastly is to try not to think about the results as much. When we're doing rallies from the baseline, we tend to be able to calm down and just hit uh, ground strokes because we know they're gonna come back. When we're at the net, we feel like we need to end the point, and that idea of ending the point or result-driven thinking then tends to create more anxiety in us, which then we can't split step or hit good volleys. If we're just okay with rallying and just hitting a nice volley and being okay with it going there and then them getting it back, you'll calm down, you'll be able to hit cleaner volleys, you'll be able to play some better, in turn then you will win more points, but you have to start with that. Okay, so try those three things that I just talked about, doing a drill where you don't move your feet, when you're volleying, holding it there at the end, and then also being okay with rallying and calming your brain to then help yourself do a better split step. All right, thank you.